Hollyhocks are beautiful and iconic flowering plants that can add charm and elegance to any garden landscape. In this video, we'll discuss the optimal timing for planting hollyhocks to ensure successful growth and vibrant blooms. Understanding the right time to plant hollyhocks is crucial for their overall health and vigor, so let's dive in and learn more about this fascinating gardening topic. The hollyhock scientifically known as Alcea rosea is a flowering, herbaceous plant belonging to the mallow family, or Malvaceae. Originally native to China, it is widely cultivated for its attractive flowers. Hollyhocks come in various forms, including annual, biennial, and perennial varieties. Typically reaching heights of 5 to 9 feet, the plant grows almost entirely upright, with flowers arranged along the stem. Its leaves are characterized by 5 to 7 lobes. Flowers come in shades of white, pink, red, or yellow, measuring about 3 inches or more across. Hollyhocks have a tendency to self-seed, and can become invasive in regions beyond their native habitat. Hollyhocks typically grow best in USDA hardiness zones 3 to 9, thriving in temperate climates with full sun exposure. They prefer well-drained soil with a slightly alkaline pH and benefit from regular watering, especially during dry periods. Hollyhocks are also relatively low-maintenance plants, making them popular choices for gardeners of all skill levels. States in the U.S. that offer suitable conditions for planting hollyhocks include California, particularly in coastal areas with mild temperatures and moderate humidity. Oregon, with its diverse climate zones, also provides favorable conditions for hollyhock cultivation. The same applies to Washington, where various regions offer suitable environments for growing hollyhocks. In Texas, certain areas such as the central and northern regions have the right climate and soil for hollyhocks. Additionally, in Colorado, regions with cooler summers and well-drained soil are conducive to hollyhock growth. However, hollyhocks can be grown in many other states across the U.S. as well, provided they receive adequate sunlight and moisture. In regions with mild winters and early springs, planting hollyhock seeds directly in the garden bed in early spring after the last frost date is ideal. This timing allows the seeds to take advantage of the gradually warming soil and increasing daylight hours. As temperatures rise, the seeds germinate and establish quickly, giving the plants a head start on growth before the hot summer months. On the other hand, in areas with hot summers, planting hollyhocks in late summer to early fall can be a strategic choice. During this time, the intense heat of summer begins to wane and cooler temperatures prevail. Planting hollyhocks during this period allows them to develop strong root systems without the stress of extreme heat. The soil retains more moisture in the fall, which is beneficial for root growth and establishment. Additionally, planting hollyhocks in late summer to early fall provides an opportunity for the plants to establish themselves before winter dormancy sets in. While hollyhocks are typically biennial or perennial plants, they often benefit from a period of dormancy during the winter months. By planting in late summer or early fall, the plants have ample time to develop strong roots before the onset of cold weather, ensuring their survival through the winter and robust growth the following spring. Hollyhock seeds germinate best when soil temperatures are consistently above 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 degrees Celsius. Use a soil thermometer to monitor soil temperature before planting hollyhock seeds directly in the ground. If soil temperatures are too cold, consider waiting until they rise to the optimal range for germination. To harvest hollyhock seeds, simply snap the hollyhock seed pods off the stalks with your fingers, dropping them into a brown paper bag. If you want to sow them instead of saving them, autumn is also the ideal time for that. Before planting hollyhocks, it's essential to prepare the soil properly to provide an optimal growing environment for these beautiful flowers. Start by selecting a well-draining location with fertile soil and adequate sunlight exposure. Hollyhocks prefer loamy soil with a slightly acidic to neutral pH level. To prepare the soil, begin by loosening the top six, eight inches, 15 to 20 centimeters of soil using a garden fork or tiller. Remove any weeds, rocks, or debris from the planting area to prevent competition for nutrients and water. Incorporate organic matter such as compost or aged manure into the soil to improve its texture, fertility, and water retention capabilities. When it comes to planting depth, hollyhock seeds should be sown directly into the soil at a depth of about a quarter to a half an inch. Ensure that the soil is moist but not waterlogged at the time of planting to promote seed germination. Space the seeds approximately 18 to 24 inches apart to allow for adequate air circulation and prevent overcrowding as the plants grow. 
If transplanting hollyhock seedlings instead of sowing seeds directly, dig a hole slightly larger than the root ball of the seedling. Gently remove the seedling from its container and place it in the hole at the same depth it was previously growing. Backfill the hole with soil and gently pat it down to remove air pockets around the roots. Water the newly transplanted seedlings thoroughly to help them settle into their new environment. Once hollyhocks are planted, proper watering and maintenance are essential to ensure their healthy growth and abundant flowering. Hollyhocks require regular watering, especially during dry periods or prolonged periods of hot weather. Water the plants deeply at least once a week, providing enough moisture to penetrate the soil to the root level. However, be cautious not to overwater, as soggy soil can lead to root rot and other fungal diseases. It's best to water hollyhocks in the morning to allow foliage to dry before evening, reducing the risk of fungal infections. Applying a layer of organic mulch around hollyhock plants can help conserve soil moisture, suppress weed growth, and regulate soil temperature. Use organic materials such as shredded bark, straw, or compost, and spread them around the base of the plants, leaving a few inches of space around the stems to prevent rot. Hollyhocks benefit from occasional fertilization to promote healthy growth and flowering. Apply a balanced fertilizer, such as a 10 to 10 to 10 or 5 to 10 to 5 formulation in early spring before new growth appears. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for application rates and frequency to avoid over-fertilizing, which can lead to excessive foliage growth at the expense of flowers. To encourage continuous blooming and prevent the formation of seed pods, deadhead spent flowers regularly throughout the growing season. Simply pinch or cut off the faded flowers just below the base of the flower stalk to promote the development of new buds and prolong the flowering period. Tall varieties of hollyhocks may benefit from staking to provide support and prevent them from bending or breaking in strong winds. Install stakes or plant supports around the plants early in the growing season being careful not to damage the roots, and tie the stems loosely to the supports as they grow taller. By following these watering and maintenance tips, you can help your hollyhock plants thrive and produce an abundance of beautiful flowers throughout the growing season, enhancing the beauty of your garden and attracting pollinators such as bees and butterflies. Hollyhocks have a rich historical significance and have been cultivated for centuries, popular in medieval European gardens, and depicted in art and literature throughout history. While not commonly consumed, hollyhock flowers are edible and can be added to salads or used as a garnish, boasting a mild, slightly sweet flavor. In traditional herbal medicine, hollyhock leaves and flowers were used to make poultices for soothing skin irritations, such as rashes and burns, and were believed to have diuretic and expectorant properties. Hollyhocks symbolize ambition, fertility, and fruitfulness in Victorian flower language, and are associated with the concept of resurrection and new beginnings. They are excellent attractors of pollinators, including bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds, providing valuable nectar-rich flowers to support local ecosystems. Alongside the common Alcea rosea, there are other lesser-known species and hybrids available, offering a wide range of options for gardeners, including dwarf varieties, double-flowered cultivars, and bicolored blooms. Hollyhocks are prolific self-seeders, spreading easily in the garden if not deadheaded regularly, which can be both a blessing and a challenge for gardeners. While often grown as biennials or short-lived perennials, some hollyhock varieties exhibit true perennial habits and can persist in the garden for several years with proper care. Hollyhocks are relatively low-maintenance plants, tolerating a wide range of growing conditions, including drought and poor soil, but may be susceptible to pests and diseases such as aphids, rust fungus, and powdery mildew, especially in humid climates. In some Native American tribes, hollyhock roots were used to make a red dye for textiles and ceremonial purposes, showcasing their cultural significance beyond their ornamental value. From their edible flowers to their medicinal properties and cultural symbolism, Hollyhocks offer much more than meets the eye. Whether you're attracted to their old world charm, their role in supporting pollinators, or their resilience in various growing conditions, hollyhocks are sure to captivate both novice and seasoned gardeners alike. So, whether you're planting them for their aesthetic appeal, their historical significance, or their ecological benefits, hollyhocks are a delightful addition to any garden landscape, enriching our lives in more ways than one.